Rodrigo. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. defense for the Chargers they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week and I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions what do you do now when you go into a game do you decide you can't throw the ball do you try and run it more or do you tell your quarterback make sure you see your guys open before you deliver on second down here's Mahomes well, this one complete it's Rasheed Rice and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And so close. He gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. An excellent gain. 35 yards. Defensive talk 101, don't let the quarterback out of the pocket because when that happens, yeah, you may shrink the field with your defense, but it's so easy to lose someone on the backside. And he finds it and picks up a big game. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Harris he is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. To throw, it's Mahomes. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it, fourth and goal. There was no hesitation. Field goal unit never sniffed the field. It was a message, and the message was... I trust you on offense. Go out and make this happen. Go ahead and pick it up. You know what else he said? I trust my defense as well. If they don't get it, I know you're going to hold them. So it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17.
Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, two snaps ago, I don't think anyone thought a safety was on the table, yet it happened. They caught him on back-to-back -back plays, breaking through the line. No amount of evading was going to save him from a sack on either play, and on the last one, he ran too deep into the end zone to set up the safety. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a cross because what's that old malaprop? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this crew, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. A well-executed 22-yard game. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. When you talk about the defense for these Chargers, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. Second down, McKinnon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. So nothing there that time. And maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't. And you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> After one, it's 9-0. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Flushed out right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 32-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They go play fake. Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field is popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Here's the seventh play in this drive. This is third and four. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. And they'll bring Tony in motion left. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. Spotted at the left hash. This from 45. Butker's kick here is good. So when you factor in the safety, this now a five-point swing. And look, I'm not going to turn away a five-point swing because five points, that's valuable. Don't get me wrong on this. But if they could have taken that safety and added seven to it, now you're talking about a really big swing. Charger drive about to get going. And things already were problematic for him. Then you add in the safety, followed by the field goal. Yes, all things considered, not the worst possible outcome, but they've got work to do here as they come up first and 10. There for the tackle was Trent McDuffie. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third and four. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. On fourth down, Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. He's got it at the 15. Well, first and goal and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Let's go, let's go. Five nine, five nine. 
Herbert. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. They snap it to Herbert. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are back within a score. If you're going to put quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. That's your point up and good by Dicker. And this is back to a five-point game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Going for the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Valdez Scandling in motion right. will try again on second down. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from the Holmes and company. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions. And they're taking advantage of it. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. The throw from Tony is intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. And they finally put an end to this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. 
That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. After the turnover, here's Herbert. That to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Well, their defense got them the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brandon, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Into space at the 45. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now a second and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. 20. Down the sideline he goes. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a Charger TV. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now two. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Finds his man. It's Kelsey on the crossing route here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On play action, it's Mahomes. That went into the hands of Tony downfield. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 
And 22 more yards there and another first down. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. First down, Mahomes. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Butker's kick here is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. One second, all that remains. And the slot man goes in motion left. The final shot before the break for Herbert. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Herbert just beat the play clock. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Go Lion, 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 Lion. What is Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And pass caught, it's Williams. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. 
second down. Now it's Herbert. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this will be caught in the end zone for the Chargers touchdown. Trey Palmer, 36 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead here this third quarter. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. And this is the easiest throw you're going to get, and you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. Herbert and the Chargers stay in put. They'll line up and go for two. Now they'll audible to something else. Go. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time. It's going to lead to third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way, full steam, and he broke that one up. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now they'll bring Tony in motion left. Chiefs first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Valdez Scandling in motion right. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Now again, this is McKinnon, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Making now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big-time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. Valdez Scantling in motion right. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Open man downfield. That's Tony. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Handoff, it's McKinnon. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Mahomes going to throw. His throw incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Nowhere to turn here. He's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. It's the corner blitz that got him. J.C. Jackson with his sack. Three quarters in the box. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Charger drive about to get going. 
Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here. They still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from the up on time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving right, keep the clock going, and above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. On third down, and the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And to the 43, so down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of 16 and the Chiefs first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. To throw, it's Mahomes. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tell you what, Parker, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that will wound up incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 41. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. The Charger drive about to get going. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Set. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and three. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now is the go time? I think now is the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, go, go, go. really. Ray, 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 Ray. 
On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Chiefs are right back in this football game. They'll come up first and ten here. They'll start the drive with Harris. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. They'll come up now on second down. Now here's Mahomes. That's swung out wide to Harris. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy. Where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Here comes second down and five. Mahomes steps away to his left. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes a correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. They'll try and run with Harris. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Second down, goal to go. Mahomes will throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Reek Woolen. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have the coach told us all the time. A lost opportunity 